Nancy here at Porsche Colorado Springs. So it's about to rain and I couldn't find anybody to wash the car right now. I wanted to do a quick wash on it so it looked nice for you. So when you come to visit, but it certainly doesn't look bad. It's just, it's just had a little bit of rain on it. Um, but she looks good. There are, I did notice a couple of little things that I want to point out. First off is, uh, my husband's a detailer. He's uh, overseas right now, he's deployed. But I know he could get that off. I know that there are kits and stuff that get that cleaner. So there's a little bit of wear. Um, if your son's familiar with the Mazda 6, I'm sure he's he has probably seen that kind of wear before. We see it a lot on a lot of different brands where there's just a little bit of discoloration on the headlights, but they're still plenty clear enough. It's just up at the top. And I know that they, um, somebody who knows what they're doing can get that out or you can use one of those kits. Um, the front end looks great. The only um, scuffs or anything that I saw on it was on the back. And I know we did do touch up paint, so I'm sure it looks better than it did. But let me point out, okay, so here's a little dent right here. It's a very, I didn't even see it actually the first two, three times I walked around it. So I'm just now seeing it in certain light. Silver is a good hider of blemishes because you just kind of can't, you have to catch it in just the right light. A few little scratches right here. Um, and we do have a few on the back bumper, probably somebody putting something in and out of the back trunk a lot. And that's uh, worn this a little bit, very common spot. Uh, this is why we recommend a clear bra on this back, back end. Um, because that's a very common place for vehicles to get scuffed up. Looks like we did do touch up paint on that and it, and it doesn't look bad, uh, definitely, but it is there. So I do wanna point that out. Now I did talk to my boss a little bit about the price of the car and I'm gonna see what I can do, okay? Cause we do wanna sell it. And uh, I know it, the budget's tight. So I'm gonna do everything I can to help you out. Um, I'm gonna do that in just a minute, but I, I did wanna get you the video that I promised. Okay, so it's got a nice interior, a little bit of wear on the seat, but again, it's just getting in and out. And uh, you know, it's a Mazda, so the leather is not quite the same quality as, as it would be on a Porsche. Uh, but so the wear I think is really common on, on these vehicles. Certainly nice and it drives great. All right, and in the back and it looks like they did a little touch up right here on this back seat too. They did a good job, it looks fine, but it looks like they had a little bit of, uh, maybe, you know what, it might have just dried out from the sun and had a little piece that they had to fix in the back. So I did notice just a little bit of wear on the steering wheel as well. I wanna point that out. I mean, obviously for the price of the car, the low miles, it's a great car. We've done some good work to it. It'll be a nice, um, nice, good vehicle for your son, um, but it isn't perfect. It does have a little bit of wear that I wanna show you. So there is a little bit of wear on the steering wheel. Um, again, that just hasn't been touched up and that could easily be, be touched up. Let me get in here really quick. It smells good. There's no weird smells in here. That's always important to note. Let me turn it on really quick. I'm trying to see if I can find, oh yeah, there's the odometer. So it's got 37,677 miles on it. Do you have a nice driver's information display and a nice um, uh, screen right there. Dash looks good. Um, everything else looks good. And um, I think it looks like a, a nice car. It's a it's a, um, a great low mileage vehicle and at a fantastic price. Oh, and look at that. It's even got a little sunglass holder right there. We like that. Okay, I'm gonna do that quote next for you.